we're out here again this weekend it's been a week since we were out here we're gonna try to finish the fence line it's a little cold this morning it's in the lower mid 20s as you can see the skid steer's got some frost on it and the kids are in the house they're trying to stay warm we might have them come out here once it warms up a little bit better but uh we're gonna try to finish the second half of the fence line and then that way we'll be in a good spot to punch posts and start building a fence okay so when to go oh, we showed up this morning we're all ready to go do the rest of the uh fence line and uh Went to go get the gator and has a flat tire. So first snafu of the morning. Uh, it's 22 degrees out. Nine o'clock, not too bad. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, it'll be fine once we get moving, but um, yeah, now I gotta go power up the air compressor and go find out what's wrong with the tire. Uh, worst case scenario, we won't use it and we'll just put all the barbed wire in the back of the truck, but uh, yeah, always something. You okay? You okay? This is six or eight ply tires, so. Must have hit a good thorn or something. So we found the hole. We found the hole. Found the hole, you feel it. Feel the air coming out. Alright, so uh, what we use is just a tire repair kit. got his oh well, you explain the process <laughs> so we get a lot of flat tires out here there's locusts and there's huge locust thorns along with some other stuff and the deer tractors, antlers yeah deer, deer antlers yeah. uh i don't think that will fix the deer antler though <laughs> but we get a lot of flat tires on the tractor and on the gator so this is a necessity out here and it works pretty well. Our neighbor was the one who actually showed us how to do this stuff. I've never done this before, but I think this is the eighth or ninth one that we've done in a couple of years. So it's pretty common to get flat tires. And we'll show you the process. The first thing is you gotta find the hole. And then what he does too is he'll get a spray bottle, put some soap and some water, and then spray the tires and you'll see it bubble up. Here it's pretty evident that it's there. And We'll make the hole a little bit bigger and then we'll just plug it in, put a cement patch over it, and it should be good. Why do you have to make the hole bigger? Uh, to make sure you can get the plug in there. Okay. It's tight. So I've got to rasp it a couple of times. And there's a hole. <laughs> You're making it flatter. So you slide it in in between the groove. I usually need to get some pliers to try to get it through. It's a little cold this morning. So my hands we're not cooperating. There we go. Oh, come on, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be quick. All right. That's what she said? Yep. Because she's tired and has a headache. I got all that on <laughs> camera. <laughs> Good for you, JC. Good for you. Rasp it a couple more times just to make sure. Some make glue if it isn't already hard. We'll 
tutup lagi You don't want to go in all the way. You're supposed to twist and pulls out. You should cut the excess off so that way it doesn't catch on anything and accidentally pull it out. So let me fill it up and then I'll get a knife and I'll cut the edge off. All right, so we'll refill it. It's actually an eight ply tire. So it has to be a pretty thick thorn to penetrate all those. We'll fill it at 15 PSI. It's the first plug in these new sets of tires on the Gator, which are a year old or so. You don't want to cut too close, so just give it a little bit of a edge. I'm pretty sure I sharpened this after hunting season. There you go. It's not bubbling, which means it's holding. Pressure's holding too, so I think we're good. You can see there's a couple of other little holes. They're not bubbling, so I think it's fine. This is part two of the fence clearing. So we've already kind of mowed this side, probably another 20, 30 yards, and there's still bob wire, so we're gonna pull the bob wire out we stopped because there was T-posts, the metal posts. We'll show you how we pull those out as well when we're pulling all the bob wire out. And then we have an additional, probably another 100 yards, maybe a little more, that we still need to clear. So we'll start off by again using the skid steer and the diamond cutter to try to hug the fence line as close as possible and get rid of the majority of this stuff so we can get in there and pull the bob wire. And then once it's all clear, we'll do what we did before and just mow everything down with the diamond cutter, try to make it as clean and as flat as possible. So that's where we are today. And that's what we're gonna try to get accomplished is all the way to the end over there. some metal t-posts in the fence line this time so we're using this fence puller t-post puller to get it out uh, there's a lot of poison ivy in this one so this is gonna do it <laughs> uh, Sing -sing. yeah so uh, it's been kind of muddy they had snow last week so we're gonna put a piece of wood down t t for the base but then what you do is you on the back there's some notches and basically pull it out. We took a break from clearing fence line. The kids wanted to go walk the ridge line so we made it to the other side, I guess the east side of our property and we found the ridge, some old logging trails and we walked it. We think we found the corner points at the end and we're gonna head back now so we took a little break which doesn't happen very often but we decided to do it just because it seems like all we do when we come out here is work and really not enjoy things and the view is not too bad from up here you can see the other side of our property so we finished up pulling as much bob wire as we could we probably cleared another hundred yards or so I'm going to try to clean this up really quick and smooth it out and then I think we're going to call it a night, go get some uh, chicken and steak fajitas and some margaritas for dinner and then be good and then head back home tomorrow.
think we're done for the day. I just got done plowing down or diamond cutting the hundred or so yards that we cleared all the bob wire. As you can see, I'm going to try to do a time lapse of a before and an after split screen so you guys can see it and hopefully that came out pretty good. But uh, we didn't get as much done as we wanted. We were hoping to finish it and actually make it to the end of the fence, but we decided, like I said, to take a little break and uh, go for a hike with the kids. It was like a two hour hike up to the ridge line and back and walk the entire ridge line and try to find the corners of, a, of the property on the east side up on the ridge. So it was pretty nice. A lot of buck rubs up there and uh, some good, good, really big rock outcroppings and the kids had a good time taking a hike and not really working and doing some other stuff. So a um, couple of big pieces of debris, debris on the road. I'll get them moved. I might come out here with the bucket on the tractor and uh, just go over the road and try to clean it up a little bit. But other than that, I think we're done for the day. Okay, day two of our part-time weekend rancher. So the first day we cleared a, oh, about what? 100 yards. 100 yards. And uh, we got uh, interrupted a couple times. Um, kids wanted to go um, take a, a hike up on the ridge line, which we did. And you can see that in the background, we walked from one end to the other. And um, <clears throat> so that, Took up a couple hours, and then with uh, daylight waning earlier, we had to stop a little bit earlier and get dinner and stuff. So we got up this morning, and uh, weather seems to be pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and finish the last little section of the fence line to pull the rest of the barbed wire. We're gonna have to do it from the road side because the uh, fenced inside is just kind of steep. Um, so that section over there uh, is the last part we have to do. So we're going to try and get that last 100 yards this morning before we head back for the week. Alright, so it's been 24 hours. Looks like the tire patch held. Call that a win. All right, so we got accomplished a little bit more than what we wanted, which is great. Uh, we not only did to the fence post, but we went ahead and completed all the way actually to the creek. So next time uh, we come, we're gonna go ahead and um, clean it up with the skid steer, and hopefully we'll show you a before and after uh, with everything cleaned up. So I think we did a pretty good job. And so after this, we have one more stop before we head home, is we're gonna have to go pick up some oak boards so we're gonna drop off the flatbed trailer uh, so we can go do that at another weekend. I wanted to show you our bounty of barbed wire that we got at this last stretch. So finishing up that last section over these last two days, we got quite a bit. Different varieties, different sizes, different, th different thicknesses. All right, so we are dropping off the trailer I don't know if you can see it in the back at the uh, wood yard. We'll come pick it back up in a week, maybe, uh, to go get um, all our oak boards. So um, now that it's cleared, we can punch the post next, and then we'll put in the, put up the board fence. So, did you guys have a good time at the ranch this weekend? Yeah, you guys play games, have fun in the inside. Yeah. Sick of wrangle. Hey guys, want your picture taken? Yeah. Good dogs. Drop it. 
check okay. myself a cat. A cat? Oh, the we cat. like, yeah, we love the cat. The white cat in the window. Okay, so we're, we dropped off the trailer and we're headed home. Yeah. Did we make good progress for the weekend? We did. Pulled all the bob wire off. We did. We got all the way to where we wanted to be, so now we're in a good place to go ahead and punch a post next time. We'll have to clear it up just a little bit more punch post and then um, we can try and finish that corral in the next couple of weekends so I think we had good progress so if you uh, like these videos please like and subscribe